Hey everyone, today's video is a quick one. Today we're gonna to talk about head position while you're deadlifting. And the principle that I need you to understand first and foremost is that everything in your body is connected. So gut issues can cause movement dysfunctions. For example, the knee bone is connected to the ankle bone and is connected to the toe bone and so your knee can affect your toe and vice versa, right? Um, if we're talking about head position, we can change what our core is doing, the activity of our core, the position of our core, just by tweaking our head position. And this is no easier implemented than in the deadlift or in the squat even. And, and you'll find your abs and you'll feel the difference when you do something like this. And so what I'd like you to do is we're gonna do an RDL. And we're going to hold right here. I'm making this up on the fly. <laughs> uh, if I tuck my chin way down, I feel some abs, but I feel them in a very particular place. And my glasses are going to fall. I want you to do this and feel it and tell me what you think, where you're feeling it. Don't tell me. Tell yourself, because we're going to keep going. So if I look down like this really hard, I can feel my abs in a particular place. And if I look up way hard, I lose my abs almost completely. I get some glute. I'm choking a little bit. I get some glute, but I, you know, neither of those positions is really that effective for me, right? If I'm squatting, I guess I can put these back on. If I'm squatting or if I'm deadlifting, I need good stacking of my body to create pressure to lift a weight up. And so when I bend over like this, I don't want to be looking down too much and I don't want to be looking up too much, but I do want a normal curve in my back. And so what you'll notice is about 30 degrees of a curve in your low back and 30 degrees of a curve in your neck seems to be optimal. And so what I'm looking for nowadays more and more and more because I'm finding it more and more effective, especially when people are this type of posture. I, I didn't really have to do it because it's just how I stand. This flat neck posture gets a lot of uh, good effects out of restoring a neck curve. And so what I can do now is instead of packing my chin, which makes things worse for me, I can slightly look upward. I'm about you know, 20 or 30 degrees above the horizon, looking at the crack on my ceiling here. And I hang on to that while I do my RDL and while I do my deadlifts. And so what I start to notice is that a different part of my abs turns on. I kind of don't want to tell you what's supposed to happen and I kind of want you to feel it for yourself, but I guess for full, teaching purposes, we'll talk about it. So when, I, when I'm packing my chin like this, I feel a lot of upper ab. Okay, it helps me position this stuff. It helps me crunch down. But my problem is that I crunch too much and then the rest of my back is flat. So instead, what I need to do is I need to allow those flat parts to curve. So I need to not over tuck my hips like this because that's just going to flatten my back more. I need to let them set. I'm still keeping my heels down, but I'm not over tucking my hips while I do this because that's just making me crunch more. And then as I'm setting my head position, I'm not packing my chin like this. I'm setting a nice gentle upward gaze. And then when I do my deadlift, I make sure not to look down. I'm gonna to try to stay fixed on a point where my eyeballs are pointed up and I see this part on the wall here. And then I can hang on to that point as I come up so I can still keep my head oriented this way, but I can look this way and I can focus on the same point in front of me while I go through my deadlift. And that gives me the eyeball visual stability that I need for my deadlift so that I can uh, organize my lower body a little bit better. Um, that's pretty much it. This nice 30 degrees, nice gradual curve in your neck coincides with a nice gradual curve in your low back. Make sure you're 
you know, you're not packing your chin too much. I don't want anything too flat. I want you to look up just ever so slightly. And then you can work through all my other videos and make sure that you uh, fix your deadlift, right? We're not trying to round too much. We're not trying to lift under a round back position. We're trying to keep everything pretty much straight or neutral-ish, whatever feels right. Go with it.